The U.S. Army Research Development and Engineering Command participated in the 2008 Infantry Warfighter Conference in Columbus, Georgia. Six RDECOM elements demonstrated technologies, all of which aimed to train and enhance soldier capabilities on the battlefield. The Army Research Laboratory showcased the Flexible Display Screen, a technology being matured at the Flexible Display Center in Arizona. Flexible displays are really the next revolution in information technology. Once matured, these ruggedized screens could be applied to current and future soldier equipment, such as the Soldier Flex PDA or wearable display devices. In an ever-changing environment, RDECOM scientists and engineers develop technology to answer the needs of the warfighter now and in the future. So it's real important in today's environment of, of warfighting operations is to minimize collateral damage. ARL is developing smart munitions technology to sharpen soldier precision while engaging the enemy in an urban environment. The U.S. Army Natick Soldier Research Development and Engineering Center is developing software applications for compatibility with the future warrior technology integration system system to give soldiers increased communication tactics. What we're trying to do is look at new technologies that will make the dismounted soldier an integrated hub to either push or pull data from. These technologies, among many others, addresses the needs of the warfighter. Engineer Lonnie Freeberg from the U.S. Army Tank Automotive Research Development and Engineering Center says small robotics have become an increasing need on the battlefield as they give standoff capability to soldiers addressing IED situations. They wanted to keep mission tasks simple, but now those mission tasks are increasingly growing in complexity, and we're, we're currently reacting to that need. RDECOM and its many technology efforts continue to elevate the soldier to a technological advantage point on the battlefield. This has been Andrika Thomas for RDECOM Update.